Kirk Franklin concert. I attended. Oh, it was. Yeah, okay. It was okay. What bother me most is that we were all informed to begin with. I mean, I'm glad that the church had it. I'm glad that I'm glad to have uh, Christian concerts. I love them. Anytime someone has it, I love to go. I recently had uh, attended a concert with Ja'Kayla and Kai. Wonderful. Loved it. I have a picture of me and her. I will post that. But this concert, I mean, it was disappointing in that Kirk Frank, I, yeah, he was great, but I thought that, I know Tamla Mann wasn't going to attend, but I did at least think that we would have had, he would have had some more uh, singers and they would have sung the songs completely through, especially Silver and Gold, which is one of my favorite songs of his. And I, so that was a disappointment. It was a lot of dancing. I mean, uh, mm, it could have been better. I'm glad I got videos. I try to get into it. I agree a little bit with Kirk. It was nice having it in the church, in the sanctuary, but I would have loved it for it to have been outside. I have been in a different environment, which is where the church had planned on it being. So I did agree with him with that. Uh, other than that, it was nice seeing the people gather together. But uh, let me say what I got to say. I got to be me, and I'm going to say this. Uh, one of the things that really bothered me, <laughs> among other things, is that some people had purple tickets. The purple tickets were supposed to cost between $60 and $50, which later I discovered that the tickets were uh, reduced to $50. I, on the other hand, I purchased the $25 ticket. The um, yes, the twenty-five dollar ticket, the cheap ticket. Uh, all of a sudden, after all of the confusion, if we go into the gym and we can't go in because they're doing sound check and this or that, and you know, all of that popped off. All of a sudden, when they came to get the people, get us to take us into where the concert was going to begin, everybody wanted to know. Where, especially the people with the purple ticket, where do we sit? Are we still going to get our special privileges? Are we going to be in the front? Where are we going to sit? Uh, where, what, what about us? What about us? What about the purple ticket people? And I just looked and I laughed to myself. I just laughed. I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> I'm like Opie. I laughed. Yeah. And then the people, it ended up being the people with the red tickets was going to the balcony. And the people with the purple tickets sat to the front. This is how awesome my God is. When I got to the door, finally went through the crowd and made it to the front with the red ticket. And as I approached to go up to the balcony, all of a sudden the guy at the door said the balcony was full. So here I am, me, the only person I can see with the red ticket. Here I go and I'm mixed in with the purple tickets. But you know what? It wasn't important that I was allowed to sit closer if I wanted to to the stage to see him. It didn't matter to me. I had the red ticket and it didn't matter. I came to the concert. I don't care to really sit all up in front. You know, if it was somebody really, you know, I was dying to see, yeah, you know. But other than that, I, I didn't care. So I sat in the back, you know, and the people piled up to the front, you know, with the purple tickets. And you know me, I start thinking. It's funny how people are, were concerned, they were real concerned about having a purple ticket as opposed to having a red ticket, which meant to them less than. But when you get to heaven, God's not going to be concerned about what color your ticket is. You're just going to be glad to get in the gate. It's not going to be required to have a purple ticket, a green ticket, a red, white, blue ticket, a black ticket, a white ticket. There's not going to be no tickets. There's going to be certain seats in heaven where you're going to be placed 
But God's not going to be concerned about what ticket that you purchase. It's not even going to be about the, your money getting you into heaven. I'm so glad I don't have to have a ticket to get into heaven. I'm so glad that I don't need a ticket to get in heaven. Because if I needed a ticket and it had to be a purple ticket to get in heaven, I would never get there. If it had to be a red ticket or any color ticket to get me in heaven, I wouldn't get there. Because I'm nothing but a filthy, dirty rag. I'm not deserving of any grace and mercy that God has given to me. I am so glad that he allowed me to attend the concert. I'm so glad that he allowed me to see how people place such value and importance on tickets and not people. Mm. Well, when I get to heaven, I don't know about nobody else, but when I get to heaven... I'm going to tell Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me in here this dirty, filthy rag. This piece of squash dirt from underneath the bottom of my shoe. Thank you for allowing me to enter into heaven. I'm so undeserving. So undeserving. Many times you call me to do your work and I turn my back on you. I'm so undeserving. But thank you for giving me another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance. And thank you for allowing me to see that it's not the color of the ticket that's going to get me in heaven. It's your grace. It's your grace and your mercy. And that's what I do love about Kirk Franklin. He's a great writer and he's, he, has, he has written some wonderful songs. And like I said, one of my favorite songs is Silver and Gold. I'd rather have Jesus than Silver and Gold. Mm. I pray that that's your, your vision for your life, is to have Jesus rather than Silver and Gold and not place value on tickets because that's not going to get us in heaven. Well, not you. <laughs> God bless you. And thank you, people, for the lovely concert. Thank you for having Christ on your mind. You know, it's not your, your fault that things went the way they was. It was beautiful all in all. Have a wonderful, marvelous, fantastic day.